I'm going to install this great big industrial sink in the middle of this in my room and there's these two water pipes here and a waste pipe there that have already been installed uh, that's the sink what it looks like and that's a tap the taps pretty straightforward goes there like that that's a flexible tap connector this one's got a valve I'm gonna put it on one of those pipes that's another flexible tap connector but it's got a, a push fit valve on it which is really easy to use that's the p-trap and that's going to go under there and connect to the waste pipe that's already in the ground like so uh, the waste pipe is a 55 millimeter and the p-trap is 43 millimeter so I needed a reducing coupler to join them together and I need some pipe cement because it's going to be permanent I've uh, got to glue both sides where all the joins are going to be so inside on the outside push it together push it in there we go it's in and it's what it, it's just gonna stay stay forever now okay now to put in the 43 mil pipe just do the inside the outside and push it in and it's gonna stay forever that's it clean the mess let's let that dry and now I'm gonna put the uh, work on the pipe so just turn off the the main pressure let the water pressure go from the taps I've got a two-story house so it takes quite a while remove the uh, little temporary stoppers I've got on there brass stoppers come some water Yep. Now let's just chuck on a flexible tap connector. This one's got the valve and I've just tightened it with my hand for now. It's good enough. And now the other one, the push fit. Just push it on and pull it and that's it. That easy. And it's got 25 year guarantee or something. Anyway, this bit now, let's just put the the sink where it's got to go dripping water everywhere it's just bit, it's just the water that's still in the pipe okay I'm not a polymer I'm not a professional I'm just doing this because I because I can I'm just gonna clean up that mess clean up the water it's just water Anyway, the floor's nice and clean now. Oh yeah, push it in place. Still haven't finished positioning those pipes. I probably should have done the pipes first and then put the connectors on. And look at this one. This connector's too short. It's not long enough. Right, anyway, I'm going to leave that for now and get onto the P trap. This uh, plug, waste plug bit, comes with the sink, so it comes with the good enough seals and gaskets and bits and pieces. Audio, just put it on underneath like so clean that 
there's nothing there. It's perfectly clean. It's brand new. Everything's brand new, so it just goes together really nicely. Now I'll go from underneath and stick the bottom bit on. Screw. The screw. Okay, turn that around so it faces the right direction. I'm just screwing from the top still. Okay, tap. Remove the nuts and washers and the seals. Push it on. Other side, put the nuts on with the washer and the seal. Just tightening by hand for now. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. I've got strong hands. You can tell by my gorilla arms. That's the plug and the overflow. And the pipe that goes onto the overflow, that goes into the waste. There we go. That easy. It's pretty easy stuff. Let's fit on the P-trap. Just loosening the joints so I can maneuver it. This is the uh, waste pipe. That's the 55mm. I'm just going to silicon that because this is all temporary. I'm going to have a real kitchen put in in a few months. I just want something temporary. So I got this industrial sink. This massive industrial sink. Whoop. I don't know why I lifted that out then. Just tidy that with my fingers. Now, that's right, siliconed it because this is not permanent. And I'm just going to silicon that bit I created before with the reducing coupler in it. Put that on top. And connect it to the P-trap. And adjust the positioning. And uh, once I'm happy, I just tightened everything by hand. And that's from a different angle. That's it from a different angle. Now, let's just... Uh, I went out bought another flexible tap connector with a valve and just to fix up this one that was too short and just joined it like an extension now I'm just tightening it to the taps by hand it's all good enough for now okay now we can see Now I'm going to tighten everything properly using a monkey wrench. I was happy with that, so I've turned the main water pressure back on. And the pipes haven't burst off, it's all good. Checking for leaks, making sure the cutoff valves are open. It's all good, everything's good. Let's just test it. Test those taps out. We've got water. And we've got water again. Yep, just test that again. That's definitely water. It's working. It's all good. Now I just double check for any leaks. And there's nothing. It's all good. First go. It's perfect. No drips. There's no drips underneath. Just 
perfect. Everything's brand new, which kind of helps. Look at that. That's nice. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Remember to share.